Hey everyone. Hi. It's Keith, Dad, and Evan. Evan on the shelf. Evan on the shelf. I want to say that Evan is wearing this because it's going to be for our next video, which today is Wednesday. This will this new video will come out on Friday morning. So if you're really interested in seeing a boy turn into a real elf on the shelf, check this video out. We're getting ready to do it. Um, we want to take some time now to read your comments and questions about the Elf on the Shelf. We've had the videos up for a while and there's been a lot of comments, seems like thousands yeah. of comments. And so Evan and I are going to read the comments and Evan's going to answer your comments and questions. The first video we're going to start with is the video where you shouldn't touch the Elf on the Shelf. That's our most popular video. So let's go through some of the comments on that. So the first person singing sensation says I have seven or eight elves and they let me touch them all the time um well it's crazy to have seven or eight elves um she must have like brothers or sisters and I don't know um I've, I've never seen an elf let you touch them before not even in videos right right we know not to touch them how many elves do we have uh, one. Just one? Yeah, just one. So The next one is from CrazyCookie173. That kid barely got anything for Christmas. Yeah. So you want to talk about that? Well, I only got four presents. That's really all I wanted, though. Um, it's like four presents. I was like six for, in first grade. You were in first grade at the time. Now you're in third grade. Yeah. But you wanted the... Um, Stark Tower, the Nook, like an iPad. Yeah, you know, yeah. People wonder PS4. what that is. It's yeah, yeah. Um, and you didn't, you didn't exactly get what you wanted. No, I got the opposite. You got the opposite. <laughs> because I touched the elf. Yeah. Mean. <laughs> right, Remember, I was only in first grade. You were only in first grade. Let's go to the next one. Like if you agree, this video inspired me, and I was surprised that the kid didn't get mad or sad because he didn't get what he wanted, especially the stuff he got. I also loved when he said that he could give some of it away because not everyone has what most people do and you should be thankful for what you have and get. So thank you, Kurt, for that. Uh, Evan, what do you yeah. think about that? Oh, well, yeah, I was thinking about um, giving all that away. We did most of it. Well, let's see. The um, video game we sold Yeah. for $8. The um, paper towels we or toilet paper we used. Yeah. The book we sold. Yeah. Ten dollars. Yeah, we gave it to um, people without anything to do. And then we uh, still have the suitcase. Yeah. <laughs> we use that. So, thanks, Kurt. Yeah. Um, this is another one about the suitcase. It's a regular suitcase. This is from Alec McCormick. A regular suitcase. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Mm -hmm. It really works pretty well. Yeah, I actually got it. Does. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This one comes up a lot. Kevin Ruiz. He touched the elf. Yes. And I really appreciate you all telling me. So the video was set up, it was a hidden camera, and uh, I didn't know at the time that Evan had touched the elf. And thanks to your comments, I was able to go back and look and see that, yes, he did touch the elf. That really wasn't a very nice thing to do, was it? I was in first grade. I was curious. You were curious in first grade, yeah. But thanks, everybody. Okay, next one. Weston in Roblox, I can touch my elf. I like Roblox. And I did that every time. I, it does not do nothing. It still moves. I can touch it. I can, when I touch it, it still moves. Mm. So a lot of people have talked about how they can touch their elves and they still get the presents that they asked for. My thing is if you think that you can touch the elf and nothing happens, do you really want to take that chance? You know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I just wouldn't touch the elf. Let, yeah. let the elf do its magic, you know? Yeah, he fell over today. My dad had, my dad had to pick him up. I can't touch him. Yeah. Other people know Espinosa. He did touch it. Kelly Porter. He touched the elf on the shelf. Okay, the next one from Stormy Memes. Ha! If you don't touch an elf on the shelf, then how do you even buy it? So, how did you get your elf? Um, he came in a box. He came in a box. Yeah. Okay. How did he, how did he get out of the box? Um, I don't know. He just like undid himself, I guess. I just remember he showed up at the house after Thanksgiving. What I remember is he broke out of the water. That's all I saw. Yeah. So you don't need you don't need to buy it. He just he'll just show up. Yeah. 
he or she. Silvino Gutierrez says, it is not about presents. It's all for friend, for all for your friends and family. Yes, that is true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. We really enjoy spending our Christmas time with friends and family. We're yeah. going to be doing that later this weekend. So we, we agree with you. Here's one from Eileen Armina, Ar, Armenta. Sorry, sorry, Eileen. Maybe you could paint the suitcase a new color and get Minecraft stuff and decorate it. Oh. I could totally do that. I really like that idea. Yeah, that's a great yeah. idea. Um, did you ever end up getting the Minecraft suitcase? Yeah. Okay, okay, that's good. So it's you have a real small. Minecraft suitcase. Well, it's not really a suitcase, but it's like small and comes with three Minecraft minifigures. Yep. Do you still play with it? Yeah. Well, oh, no. Not really. <laughs> so, all right. Um, my name is Jeff says, well, Santa is real, and the only thing that will happen is that the elf will lose its magic. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, Santa is real, and if you touch it, the elf will lose his magic. SkyTube says, the lesson is always tell the truth, or it will have consequences if you don't tell the truth. Yeah. That's true. Whether you're at school or with your parents, tell the truth. Yeah. You know, or there are, there can be consequences. You're right, SkyTube. Thanks for that. This is another one that, like Eileen's comment, Jason Waggy says, he could have made a tower of toilet paper. Well, that's a good way to look at it. Oh! You could use your Legos and made a tower out of toilet paper. Couldn't I just make a tower out of Legos? You could make a tower out of Legos, yeah. But how do I use Legos? Make Lego toilet paper? I don't get what... With... You could make, what he's saying is you could take the toilet yeah. paper tower and put Legos on top of it or inside of oh, it and oh. make a tower out of it. Yeah, I, I thought he just meant toilet paper. Yep, yeah. okay. Um, we're also <coughs> got a couple people uh, saying he he touched the elf, he was lying. Yep. Kelly Winst Windsor saying he touched the elf. Yep, okay. you know. <laughs> Anonymous user says, I'm writing on an iPad. Oh. Do you have an iPad? Well... Yeah. What do you have? A Nook. You have a Nook, yeah. You, you have kind of like an iPad. But we noticed that a lot of you guys watch on iPad, so that's cool. We don't have an iPad, though. We have a Nook, but yeah, we it's usually like an iPad. It's we like watch. It's an electronic book, but then you can also play games on it. Right, right. Little Man 1096, he did touch the elf. Yep, we, yeah. we've been over that. Um, here's Colin Gen Geniti says, I would have loved that suitcase. Cool. Yeah, it's a great suitcase. Here's one. Ready 27 says, you can touch an elf on the shelf, not with your bare hands. Um, well, I don't recommend that. <laughs> really? I don't know. Well, it can't be like a grabber thing. Like use it. Right. <laughs> no, that, that kind of would hurt. Yeah, I don't recommend touching elf, even, even without bare hands. Unless it's apparent. Okay, well that's the video from... Um, well, you can why you shouldn't touch yeah. the elf on the shelf. Now we have a couple other videos we wanted to go through the comments on, so let's take a look at those next. Okay, so we're going to talk now about the video uh, where the elf had a curse. This here is from Rashad Lathan. They're my neighbor. So Rashad, are we your neighbor, or how about Alex at the end of the video? Was that your neighbor? Reply back. Let us know. Yeah. We've been wondering about that one for a while. Yeah, for a while. Sherry Newton says, the people that they put at the door are going to have a nightmare. Well, yeah, I think so. They might. But if I were them, I would find a way to get rid of the elf on the shelf. Oh, yeah, so. we're going to do a second part on that, what happens at his house. Maybe next year. We're running out of time now, oh, you know? Yeah, yeah. Here's Laura Salgado. Today is my birthday. Can I get 1,000 likes, please? Well, you got 20. If people want to go and give Laura some likes, that would be cool. Myra Navarrete says, it's not cursed, it's magic. This was an elf who was shooting uh -huh. you in the head, shooting your plushes, yeah. locking us out of the house. I, I don't know, that was cursed to me. Yeah. All elves are magic, but this one had, some, had a curse to it. So, yeah. The next one is from CJ. What in the world was that scream? The guy scream, was that from the elf? Now that's at the end of the video when yeah. the elf is being dropped off. <laughs> Yeah, when we dropped him off at the kid's house, wow. Alex, our friend Alex, actually, yeah. we heard on the video later that there's the screaming. We didn't hear that at first, but yeah, that told me that the elf was cursed. Yeah. Yeah. Mac Attack One says, "You throw the elf in the fridge." <laughs> well, yeah, we that did. Was funny. <laughs> that was.
was funny. Um, okay. So now we're going to go talk about the video where um, the elf on the shelf is moving around. And this is one to try to convince Evan that elf on the shelf was real. When I was really young. You were young. Uh, <clears throat> Rita is fun, says, hey you, are so, hey, you are so cool to your kid, okay? Well, thanks. Okay. I appreciate that, Rita. Um, Yay. Josiah Valdez, it's my birthday, going for 100 likes. Nice. That's good. Happy birthday, Josiah. Um, can I get a reply? Because it's my birthday. Well, happy birthday, explosive pop can. Okay, Wolf AJ, AJ MSP says, When I first got my elf on the shelf, I was so excited and happy. But next morning, I found him on top of my Christmas tree. And the day after, I found him in our sugar jar. And the next morning, I found him sitting on the couch with the TV turned on. It oh. was so creepy. I really wanted to get rid of him, but my parents were like, No, no, you can't, dear. I could not sleep. What do you think of that? No. Yeah, you can't get rid of your elf. No. And what... Unless he's actually cursed like ours. And what you're describing, Wolf, sounds like what elves do. That doesn't sound like it's creepy. It just sounds like the elf magic. Yeah. So, Carrie Knight, this is our friend Julian, says hi. So, hi. Hi, Julian. Hi. And up here. Oh, up there, too. Is that real? Well, all I can say is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was. Daniel Warboy says, it was funny at the last one where the kid freaked out. By the way, nice vid. Thank you. <laughs> Rory Mind Time says, wow, I will sub for good. Well, thanks. We really yeah, appreciate yeah. all the subscriptions. In the last two weeks, we've had over 3,500 subscriptions, so we really appreciate that. Yeah. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that and turn on your notifications. We have been doing new elf videos, two every week since uh, Thanksgiving, so we got a couple more to do, and then after Christmas, we'll do something else. Yeah. We're also going to do one where we switch bodies. Me and the elf, not my dad and me. That's coming up, yep. Yeah. Um, okay, Game Nerd says, these lies this dad is feeding to his son. I hate it. Yeah, that was mean. Well, you know, sometimes parents have to teach kids a lesson. That's all I can say That's about that. That's not a good lesson, though. Well, now you know you believe in the magic, right? You saw it with your own eyes. The yeah, elf moved. twice. Yeah. Dad probably got roasted by the kid when Dad saw the video. <laughs> um, Aubrey Martinez says, this is creepy. Yeah. Kind of we didn't think so. Okay, now I want to give a few shout outs to people who have been great uh, supporters of our channel. We've got Abby Graff, who's been really great commenting on a lot of our videos, all of our videos. Creeper Crusher, who I've been answering questions from. I'm going to, uh, hopefully, I say this right. Jame and Grizz Carmaker have been great as well. Carrie Knight, who's our friend Julian. Thank you very much, Julian. Uh, then we got Super Gamer TV, who I've talked to quite a bit, and um, last shout out to Barrett Cooper Vlogs. It's every day, bro. So we, every day, bro. So we, we appreciate your comments and questions as well. So Evan and I um, are finishing up Christmas season, and we want to know what kind of videos you guys would like to see yeah. after Christmas, because we won't be doing any more Elf on the Shelf videos. So drop a comment below and let us know what kinds of videos you'd like to see. Um, the other thing that you could comment is, what was your favorite Elf on the Shelf video? We know which ones have been really popular, but I'm curious from you guys which ones you like the best. And guys, if you like finding your Elf on the Shelf every morning, which everyone does, you should probably check out this cool video called Elf on the Shelf Sightings. Elf on the Shelf Sightings, yeah, we did that too. It's of our fun. own Elf, yeah. Yeah. So is there anything else you want to say? Um, well... Um, a couple people that have commented stuff that's not really appropriate, um, for the kids that watch our channel, right. like, um, swears or, um, fake, we're not gonna, like, they're not gonna, they're gonna, I don't even know what it's called. Yeah, I mean, if you, we try to keep things very positive, Christmas yeah. is a happy time, and some kids have decided, maybe they just learned how to swear and that they want to post a lot of swear words, we're just not, those don't even yeah. appear. I, I get those and delete them before they even go out on the page. Yeah. And also, if you want to post about it, how you think Santa's fake or something like that, that's not going to appear either. So we really want to keep things positive for the kids yeah. and um, appreciate your positive comments. We've really loved the interaction with the audience. We've loved making these videos, and we really appreciate your all support. And guys, maybe we can do a second shout-out video if... Maybe. Yeah, yeah. maybe. 
All right, so we're going to sign off from now. We wish all of you guys a Merry Christmas. It's snowing. And thanks again. Yeah, it's snowing here in Massachusetts, and uh, we'll, catch you, we'll catch you soon. Watch for another Elf video coming up in a few days. Bye. Bye.